Okay, here we are looking at this pink screen and there was over here a, a file called SED fold. Now, I'm going to use this. This is just notes on what I want to say. But because it's about folding, I'm going to change the nature of the way it looks by changing the mode file that it uses from base mode to JR large 2. And, uh, and then I'm going to fold everything. So from the top, um, I'll talk about these colon ones and colon twos later. <coughs> um, but it's using text files for documentation. And I'm only going to cover uh, with, with strong ed. I'm going to cover folding and syntax coloring. This blue dotted line is a bit of syntax coloring. And these red arrows are the way strong ed represents a fold. Um, com some common uses for folding. <coughs> Excellent for a diary. And essentially, folding, it says down the bottom, it is not sophisticated. It's, um, it's nothing like a word processor or anything, but you, you, I don't use it for more than one level. And in a diary, you might have one entry per day. So you have a date and a title and the entries for the day underneath it. Um, a blog, the same sort of thing. It's one entry per date. Log files, sort of one, again, one entry per date. Um, lists pass over a glossary. Um, I'll come to that later. I, I use it for notes all the time. And this file itself is an example of using folding for notes. Report is an interesting one. Um, I use Reporter a lot. Um, I'll just briefly go to the page where I keep Reporter. And there's Reporter. I always have it running. Um, and I always have it running on a separate page of my 49 screens. So it's not in the way. Uh, the snag with the Reporter is that it's got no search. And it's quite big. So I'll go back to my presentation. I'll cover put reporter in more detail. And presentations, well, uh, this, this is a presentation of sorts and, uh, and I'm using folding to um, fold up my slides, really. And again, warning, it's not sophisticated. Uh, first point. Folding itself, in case anyone's unclear what folding is, um, is used extensively by operating systems. And I'm going to click. I'm going to show two examples, a strong ad main menu and a strong men folding on leading spaces. So first of all, I'll close that one. A folded menu. This is a folded menu. <coughs> and if I press my middle button, since this is stored, you will see miscellaneous, save, block, edit, display. It's folded all of its um, subheadings. If I go down to that's that one, if I close that one and go to an unfolded menu, um, strong ed, and this is block, it's been expanded. There's block with mark. Move it a minute out of the way. Um, block has got, I haven't fully populated some of the um, text there. And after block, I've done clipboard and <coughs> so that, that that's a good example of, of folding. Folded to that, unfolded, folded, unfolded. Not strong here, but just folding in, in, the, in the outside world. Um, how does it work? <coughs> <coughs> right, it uses entries in your in a mode file. Um, Strong Ed relies very 
heavily on mode files and you can have any number of mode files for any set of different purposes and that this hint define your own mode file um that's so you don't mess up strong ed really um and if you look down the bottom here strong ed shows you what mode you're in on the bottom line on the status bar and if you do a right hand click on that it lets you change modes to other sets of modes you can see here that i put jr in front of my mode so i can distinguish them i've got a jr mode a jr large mode a, a large two mode which is the one i'm using now i've got a reporter mode which is a bit specific and i've got a scribble mode <coughs> so define row mode file you can change it if it goes wrong you haven't marked up strong head now so it uses entries in the mode file you have to choose what you want to use as the first line of your fold. <clears throat> now, if you look up here, um, there, this red arrow is a fold and the colon two is what I've chosen to fold on. Um, so you choose what you want to use as the first line of a fold and and in the strong ed mode file you define <coughs> a search variable with a pattern on what you want to fold and you also define what to do with the fold so you've got a search variable with a pattern and an action when that search variable is found that's sort of generic but this is actually from a mode file um, strong ed mode files I've got sections with keyword headings. Search is a keyword heading in a mode file and fold palm two is a keyword heading. I'll just have a, a look at, I'll just show a mode file, open a mode file. Um, this is, this is my mode file, JR large two. And you can see that it's consists of that keyword is search. And then you've got a keyword of replace, keyword of functions, and a keyword of click list. <coughs> Anything far left is a keyword, basically. Um, syntax words, that's a comment. Syntax words is a keyword. That's the way mode files work. Very simple. Keyword followed by some parameters. Um, so to define you get folds working, you define what you want to fold on, and then you say how to fold it. This one says, I want to, f my keyword is section. Um, and a section consists of two equal signs and a greater than sign. And the fold palm says, whenever you find one of these, fold from the start of the line. Now, I'll leave that up and I'll just open up one over. This particular file isn't folding on that, but most of my files fold on that because it's as easy to type in. If I have a look at um, oh, something like, um, I don't know, that one? No, not that one. If I look at tablets. Yeah, tablets. This is um, some sort of metaphysical text I'm working on. Um, it consists of a series of small essays on topics. So you go to duty and you get unwind it. And there's a bit of um, bit of my rubbish on duty. Um, or down to measurement. It's just notes on measurement. Um, but the point of this really shift type is that I've got essays and the, the thing I'm using for folding is two equals greater than. Let's just make show you how to do that. If I go in there and put in equals equals greater than, I've defined a fold. The color is something separate. I'll come to that. That's syntax coloring. But essentially, there's a fold there and I can say this is a 
default. So I've got some sort of title there that I can put in. This is some text, etc. Etc. I've got a new fold and I can fold it. Ah, not in a fold yet. Okay, I'll just do it's now a fold. This is a fold, and here is some text. Now, I don't really want that, so I'll delete it and I'll close that and discard it. In fact, I'm not worried about destroying my stuff because over in this. Um, directory here, I've got copies of a lot of the stuff I use, just in case I muck it up. Ah, so back to here. So that's, you define a search argument of two equals and a greater than or anything else you like, and then you say fold whenever that's found. A right hand click on the down arrow should fold it back again. Right, and I said, that I'll open up um, that tablets again where it says Android. The fold is the is the equals equals greater than. Um, the purple has nothing to do with the fold. It's just that if you don't have a color or some mark on your fold, this is a long, this is a long one. Um, Then just if, if they cut it, when you, when you scroll up and down unfolded, it's obvious where your folds start. <clears throat> so um, if you want to highlight a fold title, you need to go to the mode file again and go to the syntax words where um, you put your your, your search argument, which was two equals greater than inside. And that's in the syntax words, group seven. <clears throat> that what happens to group seven is determined by um, strong edge mode choices, colors, syntax colors, and down there, group, I can't see what's happened to group seven. Um, Has it been folded? I don't know what's happened to it. I don't, don't, I don't, I won't dwell upon that, but basically, um, the syntax colors are defined in mode choices under colors, and the syntax groups are defined in the, um, um, ah, I'll tell you what it is. If I go to, if I go and look at the mode file. I know, I know the answer. I took, I normally have, I have group seven defined um, so I can get equals equals greater than to color purple. But for this particular mode, um, JR large two, I took syntax group seven out. Oh, there it is. I commented it out because I didn't want, I didn't want that to be purple. I mean, if I went, for obvious reasons, because it would confuse, but I mean, if I went, went back to the um, mode file, open the mode file, and I uncommented that syntax group, you'll find now, um, in fact, for this particular thing, it's defined as brown, but it, it's, now, it's now in the syntax group and it's colored um, I'll leave that. So that's how you do colors for the, to mark your folds. Um, next, working with folds. I won't go into that. I forgot why I put that there even. Um, I listen, no, 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 I'll go back again. 
add a link there. This is another thing that StrongEd does nicely. Key combinations in artworks, doc, click on link. Allow action. <coughs> I've just opened an artworks file from StrongEd <coughs> showing you what uh, the keys are for, for folding. Uh, control and home, fold everything. Let me open something that's uh, well, that's useful. If I go for uh, cook, this is my Spanish cookbook in the programming sense. If I um, do a search there for, I don't know, let's go for There. That's um, I've done a search for Ola, which I happen to know is in this, um, and it's in several places in several folds, really. And at this point, this is a very long file, <clears throat> so in order to get back to sense, I hold down control. Get rid of that. And this file here, hold control and press home and bang, it goes to the top of the file and it folds everything. So I can now see what I've got again. Um, now that's, that says JR because that's not a standard fold key. What you have in the way of standard fold keys, that means that the home key is defined in the, in the base mode. So you can press the home key on any any strong ed file and it will go to the top um, i've opened everything all, all the folds are open if we now the second one here control plus control and plus folds the text from where the cursor is. So if I put the cursor there and do a control and a plus, oh, I didn't seem to do that, did it? Control plus, no, home, control. Ah, control plus opens everything. It's control minus that closes everything. I've got those two, those are the wrong way around. Control plus unfolds, control minus folds. So if I go there, control minus. Everything, all the folds after where the cursor was have now been closed. But anything above the cursor still stays open. Shift and a plus opens the current fold, or so does clicking on that, or so shift plus opens it, and shift minus will close the fold you're in. So that that's the keys. There are only the four the four defined by Fred. And I must correct that. Control and plus opens and control and minus closes. Um, and I move on from the keys to reporter. Uh, this is, I think it's quite interesting use of folding. I'll go to where the reporter screen is. And uh, If you do a menu on reporter, you can save the reporter output, which as I've, I've told it to save it into a RAM disk. It's now called reporter two down there. And if I open reporter two, I'm gonna change its name for a minute because otherwise just, just I'll tell you why in a moment. I change it to repo to open that. 
it will open in base mode. And the reason that I, a couple of reasons for saving reporter output. I mean, it's quite, it's quite big. Um, it's 15,000 lines. Um, if you want to say and send it to someone just to, to see what was going wrong with the machine, you need to save the reporter, but it, it's very difficult. I'm going to make the um, line length bigger, tends to flatten it a bit. It's very difficult to find anything in it because it's so big and so much the same. So I wrote a, a, a mode file for reporter. Um, to make it easier to read. But the, the other reason for, for creating one of these um, report of output files is so you can search for things. And let's go, if I press F2 and search for oh, boot, for example. Um, that was probably a bad choice of too many boots, but And let's say I get rid of that too much, too big. I just search for, um, let's try Messenger. There's lots, and there's lots of messengers. So it's just that searching is so much, searching works on the output of Reporter, but searching doesn't work in Reporter itself on the Reporter's live screen. In fact, anything you do now tends to make it bigger. So. You can search for it, but to make it easier to read, I defined a, a mode. Um, and I'll switch the mode there to reporter. JR reporter. And go to the top. It's, I've just used a bit of syntax coloring. Um, so that things show up a bit better. But also, I've defined a fold to fold on a pattern that starts with number, colon, number, colon, number, colon, number, colon. If I show you that in the, in the mode file, um, I've still got section defined as that, but I've got, under, in this search, section I've got run defined as hash dot hash dot hash dot hash dot hash so I defined a, a, a variable called run and under fold palm two I've commented out what I used to have and I've put fold on the keyword run which is, is, is those four sets of numbers so if I now um, press Control and Home, it goes to the top and it folds all of the um, all of the runs. So you can now see that going through here, it's very much easier to um, see what's going on. I want, oh, no, that's what I'm looking for. Simple Git, and uh, it's booted. Or It's just a lot easier to, to read the um, the reporter file, Avalanche. Change mode to reporter, well, that's that one done. Um, Working with fold on date. This is what I commonly use. Um, open scribble. Create new file. Change mode to scribble. Add some entries. Yeah, I'll just. I won't, I'll open scribble. Scribble's over here. This is a text file. Scribble. You can see here folding immense quantities of folding and if you're following this date going down here it's going back in time back to the dinosaurs almost um, 
back to the euro the last sensible entry is year 10 2010 some of these entries below there i haven't dated properly because when i started this file which is just a a scrap file that i write my notes in um i didn't have dates i just pushed as if just to push down stack but eventually there was so much push down the stack i found it useful to look up what i'd done before um and that's when i introduced the date so now it is a sort of blog now i just go into there and hold down control and tap d twice and today's date goes in and then if i want a color i can choose two colors here um I'm going to choose asterisk greater than and a space and that will immediately be covered and these are for um non non-programming entries really um i'll put something in there like garden weeding and then the entry for the day or not the day the entry for this date um and control home and there it is the garden reading is a new entry in for today um and it's folded there's no reason why i shouldn't put another one in with the same date a star thing again another entry And control home and there's another entry um, that's scribble based on dates now I'll just I was just going to discard that it's the create new file right new file click on there um, change mode to scribble Add some entries, control DD. Um, control DD again. And last entry, control DD again. And a few entries. Now I'm in Scribble, so if I just hit Control Home, it folds those entries. And you can see that this is pure folding. There's no, there's no syntax coloring. If I want syntax coloring, I've probably got some defined, so I can, uh, after the date, which is the fold item, I give it a equals equals greater than, and it colors the line, which, and bang discard done right um I, i'm going to stop sharing now I've, there's, there's masses more but i think you must have got the idea by now I, i've been doing all my documentation in strong ed for 15 20 years i've tried other things but they don't have the, the, the flexibility that Strong has got. I mean, if I do want to move it out of a text file, it's dead easy. You drop it into Easy Writer and spin out an HTML file. Um, but in the meantime, it's just easier in Strong Ed. Yeah, I think the thing is really you've got an indexing system. Haven't you? I mean, I've got a, a big folder called Ideas and Memos, which goes into millions of categories, which then go into years and stuff like that. But I can't search them. I have to know where it is to some extent. <clears throat> and that's just using the normal Acorn desktop system. Uh, but obviously, you've got a bit of a programmer's head going on there. So we're uh, just goes to show what you can do with programs that we already have. Yeah, so, it's only about three or, four yeah. three or four lines of script, basically. And it's just, it's, just thought I do everything in on risk. That's why I use Riscos. Almost, almost solely why I use Riscos. There's no way on Windows I could do anything like that. And I, and I no, believe in it. So, no, I think that's a very impressive uh, demonstration. I'm looking forward to any further uh, uh, nuggets that you.